नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस रीथिंग इंडिया एक्सप्लेना ऑन द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशनल रैंकिंग फ्रेमवर्क द रैंकिंग्स फॉर द ईयर 2024 वर रिलीज्ड ऑन द इंटरनेशनल यूथ डे ऑगस्ट ट्वेल्थ एंड रीथिंग इंडिया टुक हैज टेकन ऑन इट्स टू इंटरप्रेट टू एक्सप्लेन the inner nuances of uh, these rankings and we are doing it by way of uh, the nirf progressiveness charts uh, so this is the ninth edition of nirf and for nine years uh, institutions have been gradually uh, submitting uh, their elaborate data to the nirf engine and coming out uh, with the national rankings and uh, in the whole glut of rankings which are given by the foreign ranking agencies or some of the media organizations in the country nrf happens to be one of the most authoritative and most authentic uh, of the of the ranking frameworks because its entire data sets are available in the public domain for analysis and evaluation uh, so today uh, we are starting off we would be bringing out these smaller capsules uh, 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 <clears throat> and uh, we will start with the Uh, the numero uno institution in the engineering space, uh, which is uh, IIT Madras, uh, for all of us. And if we just go, NIRF has got a uh, five uh, factors uh, of ranking. We will try to repeat it all across the uh, the NIRF magic number. It encapsulates a very complex uh, uh, set of parameters. And uh, and if you can see on the backdrop, just to give you a larger analysis. the teaching learning and resources it constitutes around 30% of the overall weightage and it comprises of the student strength uh, the faculty student ratio the faculty with phds uh, financial resources and utilization online education it has been incorporated well multiple entry or exit uh, indian knowledge system and regional languages so there is an internal weightage for all these uh, teaching learning and resources components uh, the research and professional practice uh, is again a 30% uh, component in the overall N nirf weightage which is publications citations patents research projects publication and citations in sdgs uh, sustainable development goals as we can say graduation outcome is again a very important component uh, around 20% placement in higher studies university examinations median salary and phd students then outreach and inclusivity in a diverse country like ours it's so very important so regional diversity women gender diversity we can say economically and socially challenged students have they been incorporated out there physically challenged students and last one or the least uh, the perception uh, the peer perception academic and peers and employees how they view that particular institution out there so nrf has its own elaborate way of collecting this voluminous data processing it and coming out uh, with these uh, rankings every year it's the ninth year as we are saying it all started in the year 2016 and out of the various sovereign uh, metrics uh, like niti aayog has been at the helm of affairs uh giving out uh, a lot of rankings uh, and ratings all across but then nirf uh, is doing a phenomenal job in bringing it out and as we can see at reaching india we felt like it's fine to uh, jubilate with a one linear number one single number oh, i am rank 1 but then uh, historically how this ranking is out there and parameter wise how we are faring it through and in the same institutional category so uh, the whole purpose of nirf is like you challenge yourself and you improve upon yourself in your own uh, uh, in your own category and uh, one of the distinctions which we feel at uh, rethink india is uh, that the cfti is the centrally funded research institutions uh, they have an edge in terms of the uh, receiving the public funds uh, vis a vis the other privately held universities or so and so forth so somewhere or the other in our entire analytical space we will be differentiating we will be making this differentiation uh, when we will be doing the comparative uh, uh, i would say analysis of the various scores out here now coming to the iit madras the numero you know for the last 9 years undefeated for that matter and uh, some of the 
uh, editorial commentaries we, we would like to make uh, as far as the 2024 scores are concerned that IT Madras has had a great uh, opportunity. We see that uh, they have received almost 10% uh, scores on the perception index. Even if the weightage is 10%, but then the perception scores with whatever uh, double clicking we will go at a later stage, uh, uh, the NIRF engine, it is granting them a score of 100 uh, uh, seven years in a row. So this is a uh, phenomenal out here. Uh, on the outreach and inclusivity count, if we go, we are just going a bit reverse on these scores. IIT Madras is constantly going uh, down and has hit its lowest level in 2020. We see uh, 61.31. But then from there, it picked up and outreach and inclusivity initiatives at IIT Madras. Now they have uh, picked up and reached a score of 65.85. Uh, we might to say our viewers uh, to uh, uh, the 2016 and 2017 scores a bit anomalous all across because those were perhaps the stabilizing um, uh, years of NIRF engine. After that, a lot of parameters have got uh, quite stabilized there. Now we come to the graduation outcomes. Somehow uh, they are also on a kind of a downturn. If we see from 2016, 2017, they had a high. 2018, it was 84.91, uh, 84.36, then it dropped to 83.90, 81.92, 80.42, 79.89. And uh, it has picked up in 2024 a bit, uh, uh, stabilizing at 81.07. So graduation outcome, uh, it is... Uh, uh, it measures placements, higher studies, entrepreneurship institute examinations, median salary, graduating student admitted to the top universities, number of doctoral students graduated. We just uh, had an analysis out there. So this is a very major parameter, 20% of it, the core academics uh, part of it all. Uh, then moving to the research and professional practice, uh, somehow it has also dropped significantly from its high in of uh, 97.66 uh, in 2022, uh, IIT Madras reached all time high of uh, 97.66 uh, in 2022, but it has dropped uh, and uh, 2024 it's quite low considering the fact that uh, the university is really taking a lot of initiatives on like sports quota, having its own campus in Zanzibar, a host of other initiatives, a uh, uh, center for excellence for music, Allah Raja, we have all heard about it. So somewhere uh, the, the innovative measures and the research and professional practice, they have to keep uh, hand in hand. There is a slight drop from its all time high out here. And then coming to the core of it all, the teaching, learning and resources, which measures the student strength, faculty, student ratio and all. So we just see uh, it has... Um, it has been consistently growing, uh, even from 2016 parameter. So 91, 93.83, then a bit of fluctuation. And uh, it, it has remained in the zone of 95 point something, something since 2020, because this is something basic governed by the larger uh, framework. So if we see the overall scores in the overall weighted parameter, uh, the 2024 score, puts it at 89.46, which is a bit uh, lower uh, than the 2023 score and even the 2022 score. So comparatively, it means that the other institutions have also lowered down in terms of the overall scores uh, of uh, NIRF. So what we wanted to present uh, as a part of these short and sweet uh, explainer capsules is uh, the march, the progressiveness of the various institutions in their own category and um, competing with themselves, how they are faring through year on year. Because NRF, as we can see that it's a, it's a benchmark for an institution uh, for uh, expanding the envelope of excellence. The numbers have a lot of, uh, I would say, reality behind, but then at the end of the day, it all has to en encapsulate into a number. So this is all we have for the numero you know, for the last, uh, nine years continuously uh, topping the NIRF bandwagon in the engineering, uh, we can say space. NIRF has expanded quite a lot, having more category of institutions. Uh, so we would be back again with yet another IIT. Uh, 
Uh, we will be covering the IITs first, then the NITs. Uh, then we will be taking up uh, the private universities. So in the Rethink India universe, we want to present this uh, comparative analysis uh, of institutions in their own category uh, so that we can make a, a fair uh, kind of a comparative uh, uh, deck over there. So thank you. Thank you for uh, listening. We'll be back with yet another uh, Rethink India explainer on uh, NIRF uh, capsule. Uh, till then, namaskar.